Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comms. Today we're going to build a UHF antenna that covers from 70 centimeters up through GMRS out of simple materials and costs next to nothing, weighs one half of an ounce and is doggone near indestructible. Okay, I'm going to go over the construction of the ultralight UHF ground plane here. And uh, first we'll start off with what you'll need. Uh, an SMA bulkhead jack. Some 440 hardware. Some of these small solder tabs right here, which you use for uh, DC electrical connections. And 3 foot of 18 gauge hookup wire. Okay, run your screws through your bulkhead jack like this. Take your solder tabs right here, or like that. Slide these over here, and then take your hardware and put your hardware on. Okay, attach your solder tabs with the 440 hardware to your SMA bulkhead jack, like that, right there. To make your antenna elements, Merely take your three foot of wire and go ahead and cut up five six inch long sections. What I usually do is I'll just cut one and then I'll use that one as a guide and cut the rest of my sections. Take your ground radials and strip one quarter inch of insulation from the very end of the wire. Tin your radials with solder. Now turn all your solder tabs like so. Now attach your radials like so. After you get all your radials attached, then turn your center conductor here. Now, now solder your vertical radiator to your center post of your SMA jack and here's our UHF ground plane before we cover it in heat shrink cut your 3 16 heat shrink tubing into 1 inch sections shrink your tubing down Cover your connections. And here is your lightweight, ultra compact UHF ground plane made out of uh, hookup wire. Uh, I've got all the external connections uh, shrunk up. And you can use it like this and just tie a loop around here, then a couple half inches on here to elevate it. Now you can take a short piece of PVC or something, or even tape the feed line to a broomstick and use that as a mast if you needed to and then try to get that up in the air further uh, what I like to do is I like to use this uh, one millimeter cord and just basically make a hanging section for these lightweight antennas it doesn't weigh anything and it's easy enough to make so uh, take yourself about 18 inches of this uh, one millimeter cord like that right there then just go ahead and tie yourself a couple little bowling knots in the very end of it. Your loops don't have to be really, really big. They probably need to be just big enough for the to fit over the cable and the RF connector you're using. Something about that size right there should suffice. Okay, you'll see our one millimeter cord it has two loops in it now. Take your smaller loop, if you have one, and run it around the base of your RF connector. Lift it up. Take your finger and just make a simple twist like that. Tighten that up. And then do the same thing again. And this puts two half hitches in your line. And you can use this to support your antenna. Just like that. And here's our quarter wave ground plane tethered up 
ready to be elevated in the tree for testing. We're using a 30 foot of RG58 feeder terminated in an SMA at one end and a BNC at the other. And here we have our UHF mini ground plane in the testing tree here. Okay, the meter we're using is my little field meter, which is this old school Micronta meter, which if you can pick up one of these things, they're fantastic. They're made of metal and uh, extremely durable. And we're sitting here at the mid band 70 centimeters and on 15 watts of power. Let's see what our reflected power is. Let's go 420. Six. Brings it up again a little bit. And at the end of the 70 centimeter band, so you can see we get full coverage. So, and that's as constructed. Gotta love quarter waves and the broadband width. Well, there you have it. Quarter wave UHF ground plane. Uh, works good as most field expedient antenna designs. Uh, weighs nothing and costs very little to construct. So, this is Brett from Survival Comms. I hope this helps and we'll catch you next time.